The world's biggest culinary names will soon be in town. As Singapore gears up to be the first Asian host city of the world's 50 best restaurants awards, and that will be held on the 25th of June. This international award recognizes the world's finest restaurants and provides a snapshot of best destinations for unique culinary experiences. For more insight on this, we're joined by Renita Sundra, Singapore Tourism Board's Director of Retail Dining, and Julian Royer, chef and owner of Odette, a Singapore restaurant that got into the world's 50 best restaurants list last year and is still in the running for this year's award. So thank you both for coming in and speaking with us. Thank you for having us. Uh, Julian, firstly, I'll come to you. Congratulations again for, for being a part of the list last year. Thank you, you very uh, much. How are you feeling? Are your chances are of staying on the list. It's going to be harder to stay on than to get on. It is. It is hard. <laughs> it is a hard game. But uh, we, are, um, we are expecting to be in the list this year again. We already received uh, an invitation to attend the ceremony. Mm. So it's a great time for us. It's, uh, it's an exciting thing for Singapore. Mm. Mm. Renita, this is the first time that, that uh, Singapore is going to be hosting uh, this event. What does it mean to have this, this kind of uh, experience on our calendar? Well, as you know, the World's 50 Best Awards is really known as the Culinary Olympics. Um, so it's a real coup for Singapore to be able to host it here. Uh, we're expecting a lot of events to take place. Um, you know, chefs like Julian will be doing uh, collaborations with international chefs. There's also going to be programs for the students as well. Uh, we had also partnered with NAFA, and the students have done some artworks, which you'll see on Orchard Road. Uh, so we expect a lot of things to be going on during that period. Uh, beyond the awards, of course, um, you know, it also benefits Singapore because we have international media who are flying in from around the world. So the spotlight is really going to be on Singapore for the mm. next few days. It really does sort of play to Singapore's strengths as well as being sort of a, a food haven, such a, a melting pot, if you like, of so many different cultures and things like that as well. Taking advantage of it, like STB is doing with all these sorts of events, it, it just makes perfect sense, doesn't it? Yeah, I mean, food is really an important part of our national identity. Uh, it's an important part of our culinary heritage. Mm. Uh, today, you'll see very young people who are continuing the traditions of their family as hawkerpreneurs. Um, on top of that, you will see the two integrated resorts uh, continually upgrading and bringing in new concepts. Uh, they've brought in things like Lavo. Uh, they've brought in Black Tap. Even RWS has brought in a modern European cuisine, Table 65. Um, also, Raffles Hotel, once they open in August, you get to see a lot more new uh, international celebrity chefs coming to Singapore with Alain Ducasse and, and Sophie Pick. Uh, so I think our scene is very, very vibrant. And not to forget, of course, the hawker scene as well, which is something that's thriving in Singapore. And it's helped uh, also through the Michelin Guide, which has helped to elevate uh, our street food as well. Chef Odette is well established here in Singapore and it's a, it's a popular uh, destination for tourists who come here as well as Singaporeans as well. Uh, you've always focused on uh, things which are uh, sort of seasonal, on artisanal produce mm -hmm. as well. Have tastes changed at all over the years? I think taste has changed. I think the audience has changed. I think the culinary landscape of Singapore has changed and evolved. Uh, as Ranita mentioned, uh, it's really uh, an interesting place to be. It's a crossroad of culture, of nationalities, and of uh, influences. So when it comes to cooking, we have the same, uh, we have the same thing. It's really uh, multicultural. There's a huge diversity. And what I see uh, in the past few years is that the diners are more aware and uh, a lot more well-traveled than, than what used to than, than, than before. And I think it's, uh, it's something that is new. It's, uh, we see the interest of people in dining out. We see the interest of people in produce as well. People get more and more curious about ingredients, mm -hmm. about techniques, and about how we, uh, how we run a restaurant. Mm -hmm. As you know, restaurant goers get more savvy, then the demands and expectations also goes up. Absolutely. And, and it's already a competitive industry, isn't yeah. it? It's a very competitive industry. We have to be on top of our, of our game. And uh, that's why I think it's, uh, it's important to rely on good people. And uh, really, uh, I'm very lucky because we have a fantastic team in place. And it's really not a one-man show, but uh, it's uh, 35 people that are working in Odette to serve 35 people uh, for service. So it's quite a big mm. team. Mm. Ranita, on the other side of the spectrum from fine dining uh, at Odette, we've also got Singapore's hawker culture, and we're shining a spotlight on that one as well. Uh, in terms of our tourism sector, what does that bring to the table? You know, no pun intended, actually. 
<laughs> well, I think our hawker culture really helps to put us on the world map because it's something that many people come to Singapore to try. Uh, our food is well known across the world. And in fact, during 50 Best, uh, you know, you're going to have international media, you're going to have the academy, uh, you know, you've got the international chefs all coming down, and many of them want to try our cuisine. Uh, you know, for Western restaurants, uh, for fine dining, uh, many of them are very familiar with it, but they're not so familiar with our hawker culture. Uh, so there's an opportunity for us to showcase our hawker culture uh, to the rest of the world. Mm. I'm going to put Chef on the spot now and ask him what his favourite local about, food is. I was just thinking about the same <laughs> question. Yeah. Now, so, uh, if, if you're going to pick only one, so I will, I will choose two. I will, I will take the chicken rice and the chakwe okay. which are two mm. of my favourite. And you have a two preference? Like, yeah, I was going to say it's a very safe one there. <laughs> safe you, one, but it's comforting one. and nice. <laughs> That is very true. Yeah. And thank you both so much for coming in and speaking to us and sharing You're about welcome. this uh, wonderful event that's going to be happening. A lot of people will be able to get involved and take part in it as well. Renita Sundra, Singapore Tourism Board's Director for Retail and Dining, and Chef Julian Royer, Chef and Owner of Odette.